Hello, I'm Iya. Today, I'll talk about the top 10 most loved Korean content on Netflix for the first half of 2023. Starting with number 10, we have Extraordinary Attorney Woo. This TV series is about a brilliant young lawyer with autism spectrum disorder who tackles various legal cases with her unique perspective and intelligence. It recorded 135 million viewing hours. I highly recommend it to those looking for a comic yet touching drama. In ninth place is Bloodhounds. This drama follows the story of a young man who becomes a bounty hunter to pay off his immense debt, entangling him in a world of financial crimes and dangerous pursuits. It recorded a total of 146 million viewing hours, and I strongly recommend it to those who enjoy thriller and action genres. Eighth place goes to the Good Bad Mother limited series. This South Korean drama explores the complex relationship between a mother with a strong personality and her adult son, dealing with family dynamics and personal growth. It recorded 148 million viewing hours, and I actively recommend it to those looking for a comic but also healing drama. In seventh place is Alchemy of Souls Part 2. This fantasy drama continues the story of young mages in a fictional world, dealing with love, destiny, and the consequences of soul-changing magic. It recorded 150 million viewing hours, and I highly recommend it to fans of the fantasy romance genre. Sixth place is held by Mr. Queen. This TV series is about a modern-day chef who finds himself trapped in the body of a queen in the Joseon era, leading to comedic and dramatic encounters in the royal court. It recorded 151 million viewing hours, making it sixth on the list. For those looking for a hilarious and unique drama concept, there's no better choice than Mr. Queen. Number five is Alchemy of Souls Part One. With a total of 155 million viewing hours, like its sequel, which ranked seventh, this drama has been globally recognized for its entertainment value, so binge-watching both seasons is a choice you won't regret. Fourth place is Dr. Cha Limited Series. This drama centers around a talented but arrogant surgeon who faces personal and professional challenges that test his skills, ethics, and character growth. It recorded a total of 180 million viewing hours. And if you're looking for a comic yet touching drama focused on a middle-aged woman, I recommend Dr. Cha. In third place, we have Crash Course in Romance Limited Series. This drama is about the unexpected romance between a famous math instructor and a street food vendor, weaving a heartwarming story of love and personal growth. I strongly recommend this unique romantic comedy, which features the performance of Korea's leading actress, Jeon do Yeon. Second place goes to Physical 100. This reality TV competition involves 100 contestants with peak physical fitness facing a series of grueling challenges to determine the ultimate winner based on strength, endurance, and strategy. It recorded a total viewing time of 235 million hours and is the only reality show in the top 10. For an exciting and surprising Korean entertainment show, Physical 100 is the answer. And finally, the coveted first place. The most loved Korean content on Netflix for the first half of 2023 is The Glory, Season 1. This drama focuses on a woman's intricate plan for revenge against those who bullied her in high school as she returns as an elementary school teacher to execute her meticulous scheme. A work by Korea's leading writer Kim Yoon Suk and featuring a transformative performance by actress Song Hai Kyo, it recorded a whopping 620 million viewing hours even ranking in the top three of global content viewing times. If you want to see the best of Korean drama, watch The Glory. That's all for the top 10 most loved Korean content on Netflix for the first half of 2023. Please share in the comments what your favorite Korean content is. I'll be back with more fun and informative news about Korea. Bye.